Pretty sure this is like the first day of cross country practice that finished up and then I showered and I'm not sweating in the morning, which is like a miracle. But anyways, I'd hope I'm not sweating because I only ran three miles and I'll show you on my watch right now. Um, it was at like a 7.30 pace, oh, which is good though, because as you know, it's meant to be like a recovery run for tomorrow's race. But I think my heart rate got up to like 144, which is like my second zone heart rate, because like my normal heart rate is like 170, which is like my trying pace. So yeah, obviously I wasn't trying this morning, but it's good because we're out early this morning. It's like 7.20, so right now, I am going to probably eat and then study for my journalism test because I have that and I didn't study last night because I was doing calculus and stats. But yeah, and we also might be doing some magic tricks to some random people. So enjoy this video. So we are with Christian Camps and Jared Hayes is doing a magic trip over there. <laughs> Look at him right there. He just, just chilling. Yeah. He's dissing me on not learning how to vlog, but he gave me the bad one. What do you what do you say about my vlogging skills, Christian? Uh, they've improved since when you didn't know how to turn the camera on. <laughs> I agree with him because when we were out there before, we kept on trying to figure out ways and always pressing the button it didn't work. All right. Well, Jared will see this and probably not put the vlog. <laughs> All right up today guys I've got the egg McMuffin looking thing and this time I even let Christian go first because I'm just so generous but Mr. Cheek roasted me about having oatmeal every day and that wasn't exciting enough so maybe this thing will be exciting enough so Brayden if you're watching this show your dad this video all right because I purposely after this run switched it up to having this instead of my oatmeal so I hope he finds this more exciting I would make a cinematic edit out of this, but I don't have my old video editing software. I want to go. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the order we like. It's the order you like. Alright. Go ahead and give it a click. Alright, pick a random card. Okay. I won't pick this one. That one? Memorize it. Look at it. Show all your friends. Show the camera. Okay. Okay. Put it on the top. Alright, I'm gonna cut the deck and I'm gonna keep on cutting the deck until you tell me to stop cutting. Stop. Alright, I'm gonna find your card now and then when I find it, I'm gonna make a cut in the deck. Okay, I think I found it. I'm gonna put it back here. Now, think of a number like 1 through, no, 3 through 12 for me. 7. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I'm gonna transfer the image of the card from your mind into Adam's mind, so it's no longer in the deck. So this isn't your card, is it? Now I'm gonna snap my fingers, transfer the image from Adam's mind into my mind, and that image from my mind into the pile of the deck. Yeah, so but I'm he didn't put see the cards the back on, snap my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's your card? Oh my god. <laughs> expose you tonight.
Adrian Deli. How do you say it? Delia? Delia? Delia. 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 Just finished his first 5K cross country race. Finishing a little off his 5K PR. Adrian, how's it feel? Feels pretty good. It's a hard race, you know. Kids stumbling. It's pretty hot out. Yeah. We ran at 8:30, which was pretty sad. Yeah. We got Sam Oliver here. Oh. Hey, Jared. I just you. wanted to say, I thought it was a very successful run. We're here with Matt and Jacob. Matt and Jacob, what do you got to say about this? About this race, it's a little toasty. Toasty. Um, I broke 20, so at least I don't have to cry. Yeah. We're here with Christian Camps. You know, you're not quite your brother Garrett, but you know, you're still pretty good. Oh, so, thanks, just kidding. Maybe if he gets 36 in the <laughs> So, Christian, yeah. take me through your race, kind of your strategy. I know you were starting out behind me a little, but then you got yeah. up to four, so kind of take me through how you did that. Well, I started out slow because I, you know, <coughs> wanted to go slow and wasn't feeling that good. Then I just stayed kind of the same pace. And All right. It worked. Wow. Passed a lot of people. Well, wow, congratulations, Christian. Kind of take me through your race today, you know, first cross country race of the season how was it Very good. fantastic you know 90 degrees out did you feel like you're about to pass out I felt like I was gonna pass out as soon as I got that canvas off <laughs> Zach Johnson just finished his first 5K race. Yeah. Zach, how was it? It's really hot. There's no shade. Yeah, no shade. Well, I mean, honestly, during this part of the race was good, but when you hit, like, yeah. when you were running on this part, it was just, like, terrible. Because as you can see, the sun's, like, right there. We're running down there, no sun. But over here, it was awesome. And around there, yeah, it was awesome. But anyways, good job. Are you happy with how you did today? Good. Hi oh, Jerry, what do you think about today's race today? You know, today I was pretty happy. You That's know, just the first race of the season. It's 90 degrees, you know, you don't really expect to run good, but you know, pretty happy, so yeah. What do you see the team in the next few races right now? Next few races, we're gonna kill it. We already started out strong. I'm expecting some big things, so yeah. All uh, right, just one question. What do you think, what do you see yourself in the future of Washer Cross Country? We've got a whole bunch of depth. You know, we've got the youngins coming up. You know, we've, we're starting to rebuild now, so yeah. I have some high hopes for us. All right, that's it. All right. On a serious note, I would have to say the first race of the season was a success. I think my first mile was like a 540, and then I dropped off to like a 550 second mile. But then I think my third mile was around maybe another 550 or so. But anyways, I ran, I think I ended up running like an 1818. So I think that was faster than my first race last season. So overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I did. Um, we had a lot of people run their first race today, and I'm really proud of how they all um, just finished strong, you know, really worked through it for a lot of people who've never done cross country. Um, it's definitely tough when you're starting out. And we just got to keep working. It was the first race of the season, so we still got a while to go. So starting out in the 18s, we had me, Sam, Braden, and Christian. So we're just gonna get faster from there. So I think it's gonna be a great season, everyone. Hi there, Noah. How was it today? I think it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't get a PR, but... Uh, still early. Still, I did good. Rocking the, whatever that's called, ponytail, yeah, man bun. Know. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm digging it. The hair out of I'm eyes. digging it, yeah. Um, it was painful. We pushed painful. through it, and we got the time. Pushed so through in it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. How was it? Run, you're yeah. on? Yeah, oh, run, how was spectating? Yeah. It was good. Cheering on my team. All right. Braden rocking the old man sunglasses. So, Braden, you PR today. In the first race, 90 degrees, 100% humidity. Just take me through your summer. You know, I, I saw you working hard every day. You definitely 
I knew you were going to PR, so just kind of take me through your mindset and how your summer played into your race today. Okay, well, the start of the summer, I was, at first I was running with my dad in my neighborhood in the afternoons when it was really hot. Yikes. That was a bad idea. I would say so. That was after track season. By the start of summer, we were doing the Wednesday and Friday runs, which the man himself, Jared here, did come to. Those were helpful. And then the Sunday runs. And other than that, I just did a bunch of the running zone runs. And I think they really helped because they got me all conditioned, gave me a good baseline, so now I can improve my speed with all this speed work that I'm doing. Well, good job, Brady. to the Chipotle worker in Vieira. This dude loaded up the bowl, look at that. I've never had a Chipotle bowl any bigger. He even loaded up Austin's bowl, but that is insane. Adam is about to get his first burrito. He is right there. He's never been to Chipotle, so we are gonna see how he likes his, but first of all, I'm gonna dig in because this looks amazing. Going in for the bite. Kid tries Chipotle for the first time. Initial thoughts? De delicious or what? <laughs> Adrian Gaming like rage quitting. What? Never no, be too good. Never. Oh, okay. Too good. Oh, okay. Too good? I see how it is. All right. Ah. You got anything to say for your oh, it's YouTube? Jared. Oh yeah, it's Jared. I'm Jared. Wait, so who does that make me now, Hayden? I'm Jared. Adrian. What? I guess you're ready to go in the pool. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. You do you want to play ping pong? Sure. Okay, do you? All right, let's do it. Ping pong. All right, we'll play after them. We'll play after them. All right, we've got we got Luke Butler and Cooper in an intense game of ping pong. Oh! Oh! He almost killed me. I'm gonna get out of here before I die. 